Yep. Hallelujah. Good morning to you. And I believe you are good. Hallelujah. We're sharing truth this morning on before you say I do. And this is coming from Genesis 29, 20 to 30. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adenekon. This channel is all packaged to inform and inspire you into real knowledge of God, rich knowledge of God, or richer as the case may be. And everything is being powered by the Pastor Larry Adenekon Center for Age Inspiration, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you want to know God enough to be able to filter the mishmash we have all around, this is your default channel. Let us pray. Our precious God and Father, we worship you this morning, give you glory and praise. For yet another weekend, we are, we are grateful. Father in heaven, we pray, Lord, this morning as we share together, we ask that you would help us at it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your people benefit maximally and make good out of this sharing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, Genesis 29, um, from... 20. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and it seemed only a few days to him because of the love he had for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, and my going unto her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. And night came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob, and he went in unto her. And Laban gave his uh, maid Zilpah to his daughter Leah as maid. So when it came to pass in the morning, and behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this that you have done to me? Was it not Rachel that has served you? Why have you, was it not for Rachel that I served you? Why have you deceived me? And Laban said, it must not be done so in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week and we will give you this one also for the service which you have. will serve me still another seven years. And so Jacob did so and fulfilled her week. And so he gave him his daughter Rachel as wife also. And Laban gave his maid Bill her to his daughter Rachel as a maid. And Jacob also went into Rachel and he also loved Rachel more than Leah, and he served with Laban another seven years. Okay, um, I, I deliberately overlapped because of the way um, this one is ending. So he said that um, uh, served seven years for Rachel, and it seemed like only a few days to him because of the love he had for her. And then look at the way it also ended. And for him, for for uh, Rachel, he was going to serve another seven years amazing what love can do now the bible says that because of the love he had for her seven years were like just a few days because of love love is a powerful thing the bible says in the book of ecclesiastes says um many waters cannot quench love it's it's uh, powerful when the love is real when the love is genuine and then after all the you know uh things that laban did he said he had to serve for this one as well and very quickly he went through another seven years because he loved this person because if he was not going to um serve another seven years he wouldn't have her it's going to be leah and you know just make do with that oh but he loved her so much okay have her but for extra seven years and he and he accepted we're talking about real love here that he had for her and that's what uh one thing that we should say to another love real love will make sacrifices real love will be ready to bend bend over backwards beg your pardon we will be ready to do almost anything you know for that person or um towards the love is who the, who the love is going if you love somebody so much you will sacrifice so much you can yield up so much you can um um, a lot of your time can go into that relationship and it will be like little or no time. In fact, you don't feel like any time at all because you don't want to leave that person's presence. You always want to, um, you know, uh, stay in that person's presence because of love. It's amazing what love can do. God help us. So um, he said, look, my days are fulfilled. Let me go in on to my wife. And then Laban 
arranged like he was going to do a full wedding and um, made a big feast and everything and you know um, Jacob too was very very happy he believed that this guy was going to do according to expectation but Laban knew what he was doing you remember that this trickery thing is in that is in that their family remember how Rebecca did also in uh, with Jacob and Esau it's in the line <laughs> you know and then see Laban her brother scheming also doing all kinds of things arranged a big party from let's say midday and they departed on till the evening in the evening finally you know gave the wife and uh the the, the, the man went in you know onto the onto the lady only to find out when it was light that he, he had been sold something that was dead you know and it, it, that's a very very big uh, lesson for us there you will see that certain character traits they are there you know this, this man really really pulled a, a terrible one upon jacob in giving um, not the person they agreed upon jacob did according to agreement but this man never did according to agreement he now said it is not done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn you know and all that of course he knew that before way at the beginning but he never said anything he knew what he was going to do inside uh his uh, his heart that's really really bad and god help us with with such people that you don't come across such people who are as far as i'm concerned swindlers you know who are going to do not according to what you agreed you know at the end of the day but again there's another thing i see here in terms of some tradition that i've seen around this these days i found out that people will run a wedding ceremony and they will leave the veil of, of the wife on until at the end when they are pronounced them husband and wife and then the man will unveil the lady i don't think that is correct it is important for you to unveil and see whether it's your wife that is under that veil first of all before they pronounce you husband and wife and then you begin to unveil suppose you unveil and you find that it was leah instead of rebecca suppose you unveil and discover that it's in fact a man that was under that thing that was covered suppose you unveil and find that it was this younger sister of that person or the friend of that person that is why I believe that it is important for you to unveil and see the person under the veil be sure it's your wife before going ahead to say pronounce all the vows and everything it's amazing how you are going to be vowing and making promises to somebody you haven't even seen the face of the person because it's all covered so i think that 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 tradition is being placed upside down that you'll be unveiling the the bride only after you have finished all the vows only after you have been pronounced husband and wife and then you finally unveil that i don't see this i don't see any sense in it especially if we learn from the story of uh, of uh, leah and rebecca here it's uh, why are you taking something covered you know it must be uncovered you'll be sure that that's the person you want to marry okay that's what i really believe based on this story and i think it's very very straightforward of, and it's pure common sense that we should do things like that so and then um you remember how that uh, the man now gave with each lady he gave some servants to be serving uh because he was a very wealthy man so he gave um um servants to them and then it, the bible says that jacob loved rachel more than leah it's only that's what's going to happen that was the person he wanted all along and because of this I don't know what to call it now that laban did um that has led to problem from the beginning and it shouldn't be so but it has led to a problem from the beginning some of these things we do um at times we look at only the immediate um consequence or the immediate outcome we don't know that at times it may have a long time outcome uh, at the end of the day L look at it he loved rachel more than leah yeah and um it's only natural that's exactly what's going to happen okay uh, god help us in jesus mighty name uh, maybe we should end it there even though we have just a couple of verses to conclude this particular chapter i think we should end it there uh for today and let people go on there and enjoy a wonderful weekend god bless you thank you